Okay, so y'all, as you can see, that's the sun. And as you can see, there's a whole lot of chemtrailing going on right across the sun. See it right there? Yeah, there's the sun. And there's another plane now coming up right up to the sun. You can see where several planes just crossed it. And now there's one coming up again. It's like there's several planes playing tic-tac-toe right across the sun. See, it headed straight up for the sun. So, and you can see where the plume is that far out. That there's no way that's a regular contrail. No way. Look at this. Look. It's not dissipating, but it's spreading out. Look at it. Headed straight up. And you can see how wide these trails are. And it's only right there. So, um, well, I, there is some over here in the sky where the sun was. You know, because they had to chem it over here, too. You know, before it came up. You can see right there where the planes look right there. And y'all, I don't live next to a damn airport. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm, you don't see this many planes where I'm at. You just don't. And there's another one. So, yeah. I don't care what no one says. There's a difference between a contrail and a chemtrail. See? It just went right there on the side of the sun. You can see it. And look. Look at that. All the way up there. All the way over there. And then all the way over there. All the way around the sun. And they are flying from this direction over. So... The sun is now in the south sky, southern sky, um, going towards the west. So, yeah, look it, look it, that, that plane went straight up, and you can see all the X's and the big plumes. I mean, you know, come on, people. Now, if you look over here in this part of the sky... Hold on, a uh, puppy's pulling me. But if you look over in this part of the sky, you're not really seeing it. I mean, you know. <laughs> so, all right, y'all. Hey, y'all. Um, trying to get out of the way of that light down there. But can you see that? It's that low thing. And it's in the eastern sky, southern eastern sky. Anyway, what I want to tell you all about is on the 13th of December, uh, from like the middle of the U.S. south, all the southern states, um, except for the lower, lower part of Florida, it's shown that it won't be able to be seen there. Oregon's going to have clouds and rain, so, um, but it, it should be able to be seen all over the United States, but your best viewing area, should I say, is the southern half of the U.S. And this uh, meteor shower is called Geminids because it comes from the constellation of Gemini, um, which is my birth sign. <laughs> anyway, it is supposed to shoot anywhere, and this is after 10 p.m. at night, it's supposed to shoot anywhere from 60 to 120 meteors per hour. So, I hear that this show is supposed to be spectacular. Fingers crossed. But I wanted to let y'all know about it. And yes, I'm shaking because it's just so cold out here. But, yeah, I don't know what this thing is. It's out here every night. Um, just about in the same position, same spot. And, uh, 
It's quite a decent size, whatever it is, and flashes like it's crazy. Um, hmm. I don't know. Wish y'all could see it with your naked eye. It it looks way more, even more spectacular than it does on video. But that's what I wanted to tell y'all. So, um, and I got a video coming tomorrow about my, uh, nightmares eye doctor appointment. Uh, all right. Y'all take care. Bye. Love yous.